know, the balancing of the clouds, the wondrous works of him who is perfect in knowledge. Many are those who in their spiritual lives tend to extreme rights or to the extreme left, swinging between two opposites. And few are those who keep the balance and stay firm in it. For example, the spiritual persons who fast in devoutness during the Passion Week loosen their will completely and eat without control in the 50 days which follow Easter. What they gain during the fasting, they entirely lost because there is no balance in their lives. The same applies to silence and talk. They may go on a complete silence experience, talking to no one. And when such exercise comes to an end, they return to talking with all its wrongs and without vigilance. The right procedure for a spiritual person is to keep his balance in silence and talk, to know when to stop and when to talk, and if he speaks, what are his limits. Also, a person needs balance in the handling of people. Many cannot keep the balance between humility and courage in their life. They might exaggerate in their humility until it turns into weakness and leniency, or, or exaggerate in their courage until it turns into rashness and prudence. A spiritual person must be humble in his courage and courages in his humility and combine, combine wisdom with both. Also, in the upbringing of children, there has to be a balance between pampering and harshness. Some see love as pampering and continual giving without wisdom or control and compassion which encourages the continuity of wrongdoings without mindfulness but balance is in the loving firmness and in the firm of love balance holds in itself a lot of wisdom understanding what it should be without right or left exaggeration it is said by some wise men that virtue is the middle position between two opposites, between intemperance and temperance. Balance helps one to be firm because extravagance based on rashness cannot be stable and it is easy to change to the contrary. Search for such balance in all details of your spiritual life. Stay with us and let's look at the following story, The Balance of God. God was missing for six days. Eventually, Michael the Archangel found him, resting on the seventh day. He inquired of God, where have you been? God sighed a deep sigh of satisfaction and proudly pointed downwards through the clouds. Look, Michael, what I've made. Archangel Michael looked and puzzled and said, What is it? It's a planet, replied God, and I've put life in it. I'm going to call it Earth, and it's going to be a great place of balance. Balance? inquired Michael, still confused. God explained, pointing to different parts of the Earth. For example, the Northern Europe will be a place of great opportunity and wealth, well, Southern Europe is going to be poor. Over there, I've placed a continent of white people, and there is a continent of black people, balance in all things. God continued pointing to different countries. This one will be extremely hot, while this one will be very cold and covered in ice. The archangel, impressed by God's work, then pointed to a land area and said, What's that one? Ah, said God, that's Washington State, the most glorious place on earth. There are beautiful mountains, rivers and streams, lakes, forests, hills and plains. The people from Washington State are going to be intelligent, honest, nice, modest and genuinely caring for the planet as well as the welfare of others. They will also be extremely hardworking, high-achieving, and they will be known 
throughout the world as diplomats and ambassadors of peace. Michael gasped in wonder and admiration, but then proclaimed, what about balance, God? You said there would be balance. God smiled. Uh, there is another Washington. Wait until you see the idiots I put there. Let us pray together. My Lord Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, we come before you to ask your forgiveness and seek your direction and guidance. We know your word says, woe on those who call evil good. But that's what we have done. We have lost our spiritual equilibrium and inverted our values. Search us, O God, and know our hearts today. Cleanse us from every sin and set us free. Grant us the wisdom to rule, and may our decisions direct us to the center of your will. I ask it in the name of your Son, the living Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.